Get ready because we're about to spill the beans on how to make your money work for you. It's like a secret map to building your financial empire, and even the experts wish they had known these tricks from the start. So grab a pen and paper or your favorite note-taking app because these steps could change the game for your financial future. All right, let's get into it. We will discuss how to make that money and set ourselves up for a bright financial future. We have five essential steps to help you on your journey to financial success. We'll cover things like taking intelligent risks, making your money work for you automatically, and avoiding those tricky situations that can mess up your finances. Plus, we'll talk about how to boost your skills to make more money. We won't spill all the beans just yet. You have to watch to find out all the secrets. Don't go anywhere. By the time we finish, you'll have all the know-how you need to make those money moves with confidence. Imagine controlling your financial future, knowing you're on the right track to financial success. You'll learn to make savvy decisions that set you up where your money works for you. You don't want to miss out on this. It's the start of your journey to a brighter financial future. Step one, adjust your risk tolerance. The first thing you want to do on your road to financial success is get comfortable with taking some risks. Think of it like setting your sails before sailing into the wild world of financial markets. Especially when you're in your 20s and have more time than money, this is your golden time to take some chances. See, the risks are lower when you're younger because you may not have a family to feed or a big old mortgage yet. So go ahead and explore some opportunities others might pass on due to their grown-up responsibilities. Being scared, especially of taking risks, can mess up your journey to riches. Sometimes those golden opportunities look scary, but if you let fear hold you back, you might miss your ticket to fortune. You see, here's Here's the trick. Every chance to make some real cash comes with a bit of risk. If you shy away from risks, you could miss big-time earnings. That's why you must learn to deal with the fear and take those calculated risks to reach your financial goals. When you're thinking about where to put your money, you've got to consider the risk of your choices and what you might be giving up by not choosing something else. This thing is called opportunity cost. It's like when you decide to spend your allowance on video games instead of saving for a new bike. The idea here is to carefully consider the risks and potential rewards so you can make intelligent choices with your cash. Remember, there are no guarantees regarding investments, but if you play your cards right and take those calculated risks, you're more likely to reach your money goals. Taking risks doesn't mean going crazy and doing something without thinking. It's more like making decisions after you've done your homework. You know what could go wrong, but you're brave enough to go for it because you've got a plan. It's like sailing through stormy seas with a good map and compass, you're ready for challenges. You'll come out stronger on the other side, closer to your goal of wealth and security with your money. Step two, set it and forget it, automate investments. The second step involves embracing the philosophy of set it and forget it by automating investments. Picture this, you set up a system where your money automatically goes into investments without you having to check up on it all the time. It's like planting some seeds and knowing they'll grow into beautiful flowers without you hovering over them every second. This way, you can spend more time doing other stuff you love while your money quietly grows in the background, just like a secret garden of wealth. Automation is like having a super simple plan. You decide how much money you you want to invest, which magically goes from your paycheck or bank account into certain investments regularly. It's like setting up a money autopilot. A popular choice is investing in something called an S&MP 500 index fund. This fancy term means your money joins a big group of investments that follow how the top 500 companies in the US are doing. Easy. It's like planting those money seeds and watching your garden grow without fuss. Automating your investments is like sticking to a plan and not letting anything shake your financial journey. No matter what happens in the market, you keep putting your money into investments regularly. That's how you make the most of something called compounding, where your money grows bigger and bigger over time. It's like watching your money snowball into something extraordinary. It's like having an incredible system that helps you save and invest before you even think about spending your money on random stuff. It's like having your financial coach, but it's automated. This way, you learn to save and invest regularly, and it becomes a part of your money routine. When you automate your investments, you're less likely to get caught up in the trying to predict the perfect time to buy or sell game. You know, that game that can give you headaches and make you super stressed. Automated investments keep chugging along, regardless of whether the stock market is having a good day or a bad one, so you enjoy the ride without all the ups and downs. Step 3. Avoid temptation, risky investments, and debt. For the third step, it's essential to be careful when making financial choices, primarily when investing and managing debt. In a world of attractive but risky opportunities, being cautious helps protect you from financial problems. High-risk investments can seem exciting because they promise the chance to get rich quickly. It's like a thrilling game. But looking back at history, we can see that these kinds of investments are more like gambling. Sometimes, you might win big, but there's a big chance you'll lose a lot of money. So, it's a good idea to avoid these risky temptations to keep your money safe. Debt might seem easy to get things you want, like using credit cards or taking out loans, but it can be a trap. It's like buying things with money you don't have. If you're not careful, you can owe a lot of money. And when you have lots of 
debt. It takes time to save, invest, or plan for your future. So be cautious about taking on too much debt. Some loans, like payday loans, seem like a quick way to get cash, especially when you need it urgently. But watch out for them. They can be like tricky traps. They promise fast money, but then you can get stuck in a cycle of borrowing more and more. That's a tough spot to escape and can stop you from growing your wealth. So steer clear of those payday loans. It's important to be aware of the dangers of risky investments to keep your money secure. Remember, growing your wealth takes time and there are no shortcuts. Also, when it comes to debt, be careful. Only use it for important things you need, not just things you want. By being smart about these things, you're protecting your financial future. Learning to make wise choices with your money is like having a superpower. It helps you distinguish good money opportunities from bad ones and keeps you away from things that could hurt your finances, like risky investments and too much debt. This innovative money management will set you on the path to a bright financial future where you can build wealth and stay free from debt. Step 4. Learn a high income skill, side hustles. Getting different ways to earn money is like having more than one job. This fourth step explains a way to make sure you have a steady income, even if one source of money dries up. By learning a valuable skill that can bring in a lot of money, you open up more opportunities to grow your wealth and secure your financial future. A high income skill is like being really good at something that people are willing to pay a lot for. It's not a regular job, but something special you're great at. For example, if you're super skilled at making websites, you can help others with their websites and make a good amount of money from it. It's about turning your unique talents into a way to earn a good income. It can be like a superpower that you can use in different ways. It's like finding what you're really good at and then using it in a way that people will pay you for. So if you love writing, you can do things like creating content for others. Or if you're great at computer stuff, you can work on web development projects. It's like turning your skills into money-making opportunities based on what you enjoy doing. Having a side hustle is like having a secret weapon for your finances. It's there to back you up when things get tough with money. And guess what? If you get really good at it, that side thing you do can become your main thing. And you could even be your own boss, running your own business and making even more money. It's like leveling up your financial game. You can think of the internet like a giant playground where you can turn what you love doing into a job. Whether you're into making cool videos, writing stories, designing stuff, or lots of other things, you can find people willing to pay you for your talents. Websites and apps are like the doors to this playground, and they help connect you with people who want your skills. As you get better at your skill, more people will want to pay you for it. And the best part is, you're in control, and your hard work can lead to big rewards, bringing you closer to the money goals you've set for yourself. Step 5. Invest in your lifestyle. Quality spending. The fifth and crucial step. Being a savvy shopper and not just buying things because they're cheap, but because they'll make your life better. Spending more on things that improve your health, education, or happiness is like investing in yourself. For example, getting a gym membership to stay healthy, buying books to learn new stuff, or taking a class to improve your skills, these are all investments in your future. It's about balancing saving and spending on things that matter to you. Being mindful of what you buy and making sure it's something that adds value to your life is essential. So, if you love playing music, investing in a musical instrument that you enjoy and that'll last is a wise choice. It's not just about spending less but on the right things that bring you joy and help you grow. It's good to know the difference between things you need like good food and taking care of your health and things you might want just for fun. Taking care of your body and mind is like an investment that pays you back in the long run. Also, learning new things and growing your skills can open up new doors and help you succeed in the future. So, it's not just about what you spend on, but what you're getting back that matters. The idea is to choose well-made stuff that lasts longer instead of buying many cheap things. It'll help save money in the long run and help the environment. It also means you appreciate what you have more. It's all about making good choices and getting more value from your purchases. Spending on experiences like going on trips, enjoying cultural events, or doing cool stuff is also valuable. It makes unforgettable memories, helps you grow, and gives you a more prosperous life. It's not just about buying things, it's about living life to the fullest. On top of that, it's also about spending time and money on your relationships and happiness. Going on trips with your loved ones or doing fun things together strengthens your connections and makes you feel happier. It's all about building emotional wealth. Instead of just buying things, you focus on living a life with purpose. It's all about enjoying the moments, taking care of yourself, and choosing things and experiences that make your life better. When you spend your money this way, you not only have a great life, but also set yourself up for long-lasting happiness and unforgettable experiences. In the money world, there are five critical things to do to ensure you have enough money and a good life. First step, when you're young, take intelligent risks with your money. Second step, make your savings automatic so your money grows with you doing little. Third step, be careful about risky investments and stay away from bad debts. Fourth step, 
Learn a skill that can make you extra money. Fifth step, spend money on things that make you happy and healthy. If you follow these steps, you won't just handle your money. You'll build a future where you can enjoy life without constantly worrying about money. Thanks for watching. Until next time.